Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the DJI DRTK2 Mobile RTK Base Station. The first step to setting up the DJI DRTK2 Mobile Base Station is before we even bring the drone out of the box, we're going to set up the tripod, put the mobile base station unit on top, and level everything out. This is the tripod base, so we'll take the strap off the bottom, open the legs out, and set it on the ground. Now, there is a bubble level on this part of the tripod as well, and there's also a bubble level on the base station itself. So next, we're going to take the RTK mobile base station and insert it into the lower part of the tripod. We'll fasten that down so that it's nice and tight. And I can see here, there's a bubble level here as well. And there's another one to check it down here, like I mentioned earlier. So next, we need to take our battery and insert it into the mobile base station. Pull down on the cover and it will come right out. We'll take our WB37 battery and insert it into the mobile base station. Put the cover back on just like it came off. Now that we have the tripod base and mobile base station giving us a level reading, we can power on the RTK base station unit. The middle button here is our power. Now that the base station is powered on and starting to acquire satellites, we can set up the DJI Matrice M350 RTK. We're going to lock our arms in place. And now we need to insert the batteries. Now that we have the drone out of its case, we can power up the remote as well as the aircraft. We can see the firmware is up to date and we always wanna make sure that we're using the latest firmware before we start a mission. We're going to enter camera view. Here you can see all the pre-flight checks and we're going to skip this for now so we can get into the RTK setup. We're going to tap the three dots on the top right of your display and we'll go down to the satellite positioning tab. Now that we're in the satellite positioning tab, we can toggle on RTK positioning. And we're going to select the RTK service type as DRTK2 mobile base station. You can see that I've changed positions here and that's because I was too close to this tree that sits directly behind me. You want to make sure that when you set up your base station, you're in an open space without any overhanging trees. So I restarted the unit went through the process again to make sure that I get a good signal for the base station and the connection to the remote. Under status, we can see that the DRTK2 mobile base station is connected, and we can also see that it's giving latitude and longitude positioning. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that it's acquiring GPS signals. You can also see the standard deviation in feet. If we scroll down a little bit more, you can see information on the base station itself. Our battery power is at 46%. We have a current temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, and it also allows us to set a low battery warning. In this video, we showed you how to set up the DJI DRTK2 Mobile RTK Base Station using the DJI Matrice M350 RTK. If you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can see all of our latest Drone Nerds content. My name is Matt, happy flying.